Hello there. You might be wondering how I got so much gold. <laughs> and if I have so much gold, why why did I not make a beacon out of it? Like a beacon pyramid. Hmm. And then you might be saying to yourself, well, why did he put glass over it? And why is he in the desert? <laughs> These are all good questions. And um, I'll answer all of those by showing t and telling you about my latest farm, which is the brainchild of Osrith Clay. You see, I have made the world's largest slime farm. And if I open one of these chests, will I find slime balls? Maybe. <laughs> but I think not. I think that it's probably going to be gold. Let's see. Yep, gold. 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 Good. Gold. Wow. That's a lot of gold. Yeah. We've been making a gold farm here. Actually, Osworth Clay made the gold farm. This is his brainchild. Um, essentially, this thing produces about one cube of gold. That is 64 blocks of gold every 40 minutes. We have tested this for three days now. And we've got a lot of gold out of it. And as you can see, all of this is legit <laughs> from that farm. So let's look at it. First thing you got to know is it involves chunk loading. Um, we uh, turned off the mobs in the overworld and that involves a chunk loading system and um, furthermore we can turn on and off the mobs in the nether as well and the end <laughs> but that's a different story um, essentially there are three things you need to worry about first slimes second chickens third killing the pigmen okay um, I'm gonna have to go into creative here to show you a little bit more there we go alright this right here is a golem who lures the giant slimes and other slimes off of this lava and into the cactus. The slime will jump in the lava and they'll, they won't go through, but this will kill the chickens. So in any extended AFK session, uh, you're going to have a problem with uh, chickens. And here's a perfect example. Let's get this guy dead. Once they bounce around and break up, it's two hops and they're dead. One, two, and they're gone. So that takes care of that. Um, 
there's a sorter under here that basically takes the gold and spits everything else out. Everything else gets ground up by the cactus. Um, there's a single portal up here where these guys just pour out of. All right. Okay. This is the lower portal. This is the farm. There are, I think, 21 portals. And total, actually 22 if you don't count that one there. And there are four high. This right here is the on off switch for the mobs which turn on and off the pigmen spawns. Without chunk loading, this wouldn't be possible. This is our Steve, because we're running the carpet mod, and he's our designated AFK person. Uh, usually it's one of us, me or Osworth Clay. Stone button is timed to pulse a certain duration turn the mobs on the decoder at the end is basically sensing whether it's a wood button or a stone button and turns them on and off accordingly mobs no mobs currently we're running mobs okay so let's go back down and back through Now, the mobs in the overworld have been turned off as well, so there are no other spawns except for what's coming through the portal up there. We've been working on this for about four days, five days. This is how far we've got. And um, pretty soon this will all be, you know, pretty when I get finished skinning it. But that is essentially our gold farm. There's our chunk loader in the middle and there's a system of zigzagging chunk loaders that go out in all directions that keep this area loaded even when we're in the nether. And that's our gold farm.